right when you click the approach, it'll automatically put your mist, it'll have your full arrival into the airport, and so you can see it right on the map. And what's in the pink, that is going to be your active. So like in the synthetic vision, that's your active, and then after would be the next step down. Really customizable. You can have your above the plane view, so that really helps with situational awareness. And you can see the traffic coming. Uh, when it's in blue, it means it's no factor. Whenever it starts to become you know, yellow and red, you'll be able to see all the weather on there. So whenever you're on a flight plan and you have weather in front of you and you need to deviate out, all you would have to do is click your flight plan and you would rubber band the flight plan over and you can just move around the, we the weather. So we're going to show you uh, the targets here on a dedicated screen and you can see their position relative to you, whether they're plus, which is above you, or minus is below you and which way they're facing, you That's know, compared, compared to you. Yeah. We can zoom in and out on the, uh, on the range here and you come over here and we'll overlay it actually on your moving map and show you where they are on the moving map. And so I can go, oh, okay, he's out over that highway or he's off to the side of the, of the airport here and I can look out there and try to find him. Uh, same way here on my on my HSI, it'll we'll overlay it on the HSI and have uh, have the targets overlaid there, where you can bring them up and show where they are relative to you. Very very important. And yeah, so red you're dead, yellow don't be mellow, and green's green light. I usually you know we can fly through green in most cases. And it could be up to what 20 25 minutes delayed. What we're getting. Yeah, so the the, the That's picture one thing you're to be very yeah. careful of. Yeah, you don't want to use that to try to be. Uh, guaranteed position. Right. Why is this symbol different from the other one? Yeah, so that's a tall tower. That tower's over a thousand feet. Okay. If they're smaller, uh, that, that, those are towers or uh, obstructions. And uh, this tower, yeah, it's a good question. So this tower is above a thousand feet. These towers are less than a thousand feet. Yeah, and the other thing we do really well, I like, is our terrain. And we do, we do t uh, the topographical moving map here. So we do three arc oh, seconds. So it's cool. really sharp, that's a really nice really sharp cool. image. Because once you get below 500 foot AGL, it won't give you an AGL readout. AGL is above ground level. So 500 is the cutoff. Yeah, and what's nice is, look, see, even though, especially when you're out west in the mountains, you know, we're at 60, almost 6,200 feet MSL, means sea level. So you're 6,200 feet above the sea or above the ocean. Um, so and it's different than your ground level. Right, and then obviously the terrain out there is higher, right? Uh, so we're actually less than 500 feet above the ground. Let's go over to the uh, party. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, no Appreciate kidding. It. All Good right, job. you bet, guys. Thanks Good for job. coming by. and Chris and Fernando are here. I cannot find them. I guess we'll go on the stroll and see if we can find them. Let's go. this panel let me know what you think oh nice Valerie thank you I think you're ready for an upgrade though I think we need to do the EFD 1000 the EFD 500 Aspen Max system to make you a full complete 2500 system that sounds amazing I hey. love Aspen yeah that's it's a great it's a great it's a great system hey I got a couple girls gonna fly with you over to Venice to get this upgrade done they're gonna explain to you uh, on the way over this this system and how it works okay you want to do that right now yes let's go let's go all right Meet you. I am very excited for this today. I'm so excited yeah. too. Kurt said that we can do it right now. Yes, yes. we can do it right now. So Valerie at Sarsour Avionics, they have everything for your airplane. They take a good care of their clients, especially your aircraft. Oh, be 
kind of like a hot start. Because we just started the plane, so it's going to be kind of like a hot start right now. Clear your left! Tigers traffic, Baron is back taxi, 27 right, uh, south run white tickers. So and Tickers has uh, two, two runway. We have the uh -huh. north runway, which is half a mile, uh -huh. and uh, the south runway, which is uh, a full mile. So we're going to make a U-turn right there. And the Baron is uh, going to do a run up in the part after the Aztec. Roger that. We're going to wait two minutes for you. So if uh, you look here, it's basically uh, only 40 minutes. 40 minutes. It's 128 uh, nautical miles. So what we'll do here, we'll uh, cruise at 6,500. We're going west. West uh -huh. is best. There we go. Yep. There, there, and the Baron is ready to go. All right, good. Tigris traffic, 772 Bravo Kilo rolling on 27. You ready? Yep. 50 knots. And we're going to wait a little bit more because we're going to catch yeah. up to them really fast. Yeah. I'm going to turn the AC off. Seat belts on the back. Yes. Yeah. Antiquers traffic, Baron departing right way, 27 left. Uh, straight out departure, Antiquers. There's a new small power turtle. Thirty-six, twenty-four, two, three, five, five. 
All right, 2355. So we're going to keep our climb to 6,500, and I'm pretty sure we're going to catch up to them. All right. And we're going to turn our lights, taxi, and keep the fuel pumps on, and keep our cruise climb. And uh, center set jet 557 is uh, 7,000 going to be our final today. Jet 557, How's our passenger in the back? Yeah, uh, I think, uh, I think okay. it's alive. All right, so girls, yeah, we are going to Sarasota Avionics. Yes, yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. So excited. Upgrade on your panel. I'm really excited. I will get our cruise checklist. We'll close our cow flaps. And trying to fuel pump off. Trying to fuel pump off. We'll lean a little bit. If uh, you can see right now, we have uh, Kurt and uh, yeah. Eric uh, on, on our right side. Yeah. And uh, our mixture is set. Uh, we're doing really good with yeah. temperature, and uh, fuel pumps are off. Uh, and the fuel, the the that's pretty amazing. So beautiful. It, it's just amazing, amazing. Venice Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation two zero one three Zulu. Wind three two zero at one four knot. Peak gust two two knot. Visibility, niner. Sky condition, clear, below 1, 2,000. Temperature, 2, 1 Celsius. Dew point, 1, 5 Celsius. Altimeter, 3, 0, 0, 2 inches of mercury. Remarks. Still on GPSS and uh, I'm not moving. Good, I'm, I'm, I'm off GPS, I'm off autopilot, so I'm sticking with you. So we're going to be coming to Punta Gorda in a little bit. All right, break left in five, four, three, two, one. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. All right, we'll go ahead and start our descent into Venice. Okay. I'm going to go straight in on 3-1. one i am going to switch over to 122.725, okay? All right, I'll let you uh, switch over to 122.275. And Ava, we're going to go straight in on 3-1. I don't know if you want to do a pattern, but uh, we're going to be straight in on 3-1. Okay, we'll fly over 3-1 and then get back in a pattern. Right Altitude. Venice traffic, uh, Baron 187-90 Lima. 17 miles southeast of the field inbound for a uh, straighter in 3 1. We'll fly over to the field and get back in a pattern, Venice. All right, we're going to put some fuel mixture in. Our, all our lights are in.
hear me good. It's very windy over here today in Venice. Captain Val just arrived with the Sarasota girls. Going to the uh, avionics shop for the new uh, 2500 Pro Max Aspen system. Two more units, a 1000 and a 500. Good time. was for him. Hi! Welcome guys. Thank you. How was the flight? It was awesome. Amazing. Watching you guys was amazing. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Open up the back here. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, it was such a fun flight. Very cool, yeah. We had a great time too. So let's uh let's get the plane in the hangar. Yeah. And we'll get this this installation going. Brakes off. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Great team here at Sarasota. We're excited about it. And 1879 or Lima is going to be that much more safe and uh, be able to utilize uh, some of the latest gear. The Baron's gonna be here for for a week or so. Uh, it was an amazing flight with the Sarasota girls, and uh, Kurt is uh, Kurt is a pro. He's a true pro. And uh, can't wait, can't wait to see the Aspen two. 1500 on our panel it's gonna be amazing it's gonna make me feel so safe and Sarasota Avionics is truly the best they're professional and I trust them fully so stay tuned for the next video Olá pessoal, tudo bem com vocês aí no Brasil? É, essa é a Valerie, é, ela é piloto e está levando a, a aeronave dela para a base da Sarasota Avionics em Venice para fazer a instalação é, de dois equipamentos que vai ficar maravilhoso, o painel dela aqui já é muito bonito e a Sarasota Avionics vai fazer a instalação do EFD 1000 multifuncional com o mapa de GPS e o tráfego. E dá um clima de divisor de, de placa, que vocês conhecem bem. Aí no Brasil, às vezes, é uma certa dificuldade para abordar. E é um sistema redundante, né, completo, para o um voo primário. E esse EF de mil é muito bom para isso e tem para essa exibição do voo primário os pilotos gostam muito é, deste equipamento e a base de Venice Sarasota Avionics vai fazer essa instalação aqui na aeronave dela e vai ficar um upgrade maravilhoso vocês vão poder ver depois I hope we'll be able to show you guys exactly everything that we're gonna be doing yeah. at Sarasota uh, Sarasota Avionics has been taking care of our plane from the get-go. We had these amazing IFD, the IFD 550 and the 540 from Avidyne yeah. and the comm system, the IMX 240 from yeah. Avidyne as well. And we have also two transponder, one blind okay. transponder and uh, and the uh, transponder that's right right there, yeah. 
And recently as well, before we did the Avidyne, Sarasota Avionics also took care of us and we upgraded our Aspen yes. to the Aspen Pro Max, which is amazing. And we have the uh, angle of attack. So I really trust the Sarasota Avionics. You guys are a great team, professional Sarasota Avionics. You guys are amazing.